all right we're back we're back guys so took a little time off but welcome back to the channel and before i get started here um i want to thank you guys for subscribing liking sharing your comments please continue to do so and we're getting a lot of viewers that are not subscribing so guys if the information is helping you out or you want to show your support to the channel or want to be notified when we drop new videos then please hit that subscribe button and also you can actually silence the notifications if you don't like a bunch of bells and chimes and dings going off on your phone all right so please support the channel guys and that way it helps us bring you more content in the long run all right so guys if you haven't noticed Check out the rear sight. I didn't think I was going to be able to find anything that would match the gold barrel, but I actually did. And it comes in a set. So I decided to keep the front tritium sight on because in the daytime, you get really fast acquisition of the front sight with the orange ring or red ring. And at night that disappears and you just see the green tritium on the inside of the front sight there. Now, the rear sight, these do glow in the dark but they're light charged so actually you have to be around light and then once it gets dark you'll be able to see the green dots here in the rear so i didn't know what i was going to get before i bought it you know just wanted to try it out and i like the way it looks plus i figured if you know if i got it it would definitely be an upgrade over stock because the stock rear sight is only black and it's serrated in the back so you won't get any action at nighttime all right so in pitch black or very low light the stock sight will not help you at all all right just trying to get some different angles to show you guys Like I said, they, it does come in a set. But if I would have used the front goal sight, it would have actually been a downgrade to the aftermarket Taurus sight that I already have here. All right, so I like the way the GS4, the GX4 is shaping up. It's coming out pretty good. Now, those of you that have the stock sights, then when you put both the sights on your stock GX4, it will definitely be an upgrade from the white dot. Because at least the green dots, you know, they will glow. Like I said before, they're not tritium. So they have to be around light. Some sort of light to get charged up. And depending on the intensity or how much light uh, it absorbs, the brighter it will be when it's dark. All right. And it does dim out gradually. You know, when you're in the dark, it does dim out very, very, very gradually. So, you know, if you got your gun uh, in the dark, tucked in the dark somewhere between the seat or, you know, under the armrest or in the glove box or anything like that and it's dark and you pull it out then you're not going to see much of a glow got some famu colors famu rattler colors going on got the green dots in the back the orange dot orange ring i should say in the front all right guys let me know what you think Share your thoughts in the comment section. Once again, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Show your support. 
we'll keep bringing you videos on different firearms and different modifications to those firearms as we go along. I'm, a, I'm actually going to start, we'll start bringing you some rifle videos as well for those of you that like rifles. Has a set screw in the top, so you don't have to worry about your sight coming undone or jumping around on you. So it's a nice design. Now I must say, I mostly did this modification for looks, but it is actually functional as well. So, being that we had that black sight. Oh, I should say that black uh, rear sight originally from Taurus. I had to do something to upgrade it. So I wanted to start here before I looked into other options. All right, guys. See you on the next one.